Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Rob, also known as Checked Out. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to browser spoof, uh, specifically how to use AYCD's spoof feature um, to spoof your location. Uh, you could use this, or this is used to get multiple entries into a queue. It's kind of like how a bot works, but you're, you're manually doing the work. Um, basically, imagine that when you're using your browser right that's only one user to spoof is to get multiple browsers with multiple different ips so that you can get multiple entries so yeah guys i'm just going to show you how to do it it's not too hard so just stick around uh you do need a ycd toolbox membership it is 30 dollars a month without a discount code um Guys, I have AYCD, Basically, almost everybody has AYCD or some other farming program. You need it if you want to be successful in sneaker botting. If you're trying to get into sneaker botting, you could read the description below. I have a class available. But guys, I'm trying to make this a short and sweet video, so let's get into it. All right, guys, I'm actually going to no face cam, so not really used to this but okay so this is what you see when you download AYCD toolbox again it's $30 a month you have one click profile convert and spoof is over here on the right just make sure you download it just like that oh sorry whatever just hit the download button once you're on the latest version just open it up and then you'll be brought to a, uh, a blank screen. All right, and once you uh, open up the program, go all the way over to accounts. This is the first thing you're gonna have to do. Um, if you don't have AYCD one click set up, then your one clicks won't be here. If you do, they should all be here. However, uh, if not, all you have to do is go to file, create, uh, pick the category like which is on the left, have a google as a category and i have sneakers for my sneakers account um again pick the store either google or sneakers and then it's pretty simple guys just email right here password that's it next um you want to go input some proxies uh i have this blurred out right now just create uh, and then copy and paste your proxies here. Pretty simple stuff, guys. Just like using a bot. Um, I per I only use ISPs in this category because um, that's just what works best for me. I honestly I wouldn't really suggest using residential proxies to spoof. Uh, you kind of want a stable connection, so just put in uh, ISPs for profiles. I made a mock-up profile. Basically, if you have a bot, just do the same thing. Put in pick your category. Oh, excuse me. Pick the profile name. Uh, you can pick uh, same billing and shipping address. Uh, name, email, phone number, address, um, uh, card, card number, expiration. Pretty easy stuff. This is all necessary though. Now for the actual spoofing. So what you want to do is go back to browsers, uh, head over to create, and then it's going to pop up with this little window. So for the category, you should pick your category. I have a sneakers, uh, PS5, DirectQ, DraftKings, uh, and AMD. I also have all, but I don't. That's just default. So I picked video because this is obviously the video. Uh, autofill. Uh, I don't. This doesn't really matter. Um, you can pick one of these but however if you don't it's gonna give you a url so you typically just copy and paste the url that you want to go to so i'm just going to do my website um next for profiles if you have an auto script i'm pretty sure it's going to ask you for a profile yeah but if not you don't have to do it like i said guys i don't use this autofill script i just input the url it's a lot easier for me then for proxies, go and pick whatever proxies you want to use. I'm going to use leave it blank for no proxy. Um, then one click profile. This is for mostly for recaptchas and uh, V3 checks. Um, most of the websites that you're using aren't going to be using this, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, you can pick something. If not, don't really sweat it. Like, it's not the end of the world. Let's just pick one. 
uh, and then quantity is the number of tasks so let's say I want uh, three tasks to be made um, I don't pick any of these I just do everything manual I'm not too sure what they do I haven't played around with them but once you pick your task quantity that's it save and you see I had already had two previous tasks made now I have three more um, they're all in the same proxy because I didn't put anything in the proxy but if you were to have a list of proxies then these would each have a unique proxy which is the whole point of spoofing all right guys so I went ahead and I actually gave this one right over here on the right I gave it a proxy um, so this is what it looks like when you click this little start arrow right here uh, it'll start your browser if your proxy is banned then typically it'll be like a Google screen uh, and it'll say like you have no internet connection something like that just to show you that your proxy is actually banned so if that is the case just click on your task that's banned come over to the right and hit update proxies selected and then pick your proxy category and make sure that it refreshes, refreshes to a new um, category you can see right here here's my main ISPs however I went through them and I picked the ones that work on sneakers so this Stella 75 is for uh, basic basic websites and this Stella sneakers is specifically proxies that are meant for the sneakers app or nike.com so okay so now both of these tasks have unique IPs so like I said, like you're still going to have, it's different from a bot that you're still going to have to do like the manual work. However, it's just giving you more chances to do so. So see right now I'm on my website. I have two unique browsers. Um, so this enables me to obviously enter for releases multiple times uh, as like multiple different people. And this is pretty scalable. You could have like, uh, I typically run like 20 different unique browsers with each with proxies uh, for whenever I'm spoofing for whatever it might be. Um, and like I said, guys, it just gives you an extra chance at doing something. So, for example, I think you can browser spoof for Best Buy uh, when they drop. Just have all your accounts signed into different browsers. And now instead of entering your accounts all under the same IP you can do it from different IPs which will make you look less like a bot so yeah guys just like that that's how you browser spoof it's pretty it's some pretty simple stuff uh, once you have the necessary programs and the uh, ISPs or the and the proxies available to you so hopefully you can get the gist of what I'm doing as you can see I still have to do the work on each different browser for what I want to do so let's say by pressing this button I was to enter a queue see on one screen it did it on the other it didn't so I'd have to go to this screen and press the button to get the result so whether that be entering the queue solving a captcha you still have to do it before whatever drop you're waiting on actually happens so you have to plan somewhat ahead but that is how you browser spoof also guys a quick little tip uh, if you have any bot that supports like that has a capture harvester that when you open the YouTube it goes to like a Google it goes to an actual individual browser if you have an IP or an ISP in the captcha second section hold on then you can see that um, when you go to what's my IP it'll give you a unique address based on what whatever your IP is so this is just another way of spoofing quote unquote you do need a bot for this but you don't need AYCD spoof uh, this just gives you unique uh, browsers so if you ever in a pinch just know that you could use your bot if it has a, a Chrome window that opens up all right, guys, thanks for watching. This is just a quick little video. Um, not really going to do too much editing to it. Just going to blur out the necessary information that I have to and just going to post it. But with that being said, if you want to join my Discord group, it is free for two weeks. All the info, all the information will be in the description below. Um, if you want to get into botting, you can purchase my class. Again, more information down below. But with that being said, guys, have a good night.